Hey, people! Well, uh, we're in the middle of an episode because, um, let's just say I had to do a second take because other things were happening. So, yeah. But, the stories. But, uh, I'll tell you the story so far. I'll tell you the story so far. So, Don. So, Donko wanted to go shopping with Mr. DeGene over here. Hey, how's everybody doing? So they talk and they kind of hit it off, basically. Also, me and Game made a few jokes about us being us being Yokai Academy. I know you guys didn't hear it, but it was pretty funny stuff. For that, yeah, you know, we had pretty, we were pretty funny and a whole bunch of other stuff. And it was, it was awesome. So, anyways, um, so yeah, so Don and Mr. Gene went to the mall and a whole bunch of other stuff. And don't go call Gene earnest and sensible. <laughs> Those are not the words that I dis that I would describe my half brother. I would say he's sensible sometimes, but when it comes to let's just say when it comes to chicks, he ain't the sensible one or earnest. It's just pervy. Oh, shut up, Bugsy. I just wish in this game they'd give you a camera so you can go to the girls' locker room and take pictures. Most of them are not really even... Yeah, I don't care. You think I care, Bugsy? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, snap! Big Doug Caesars! What's going on here? Why aren't you two in detention? Ah, Principal Dig Doug! He <laughs> he oops. Well um Don't go get it up deep early for a moment. You say you sneak out all the time. you should have a plan or something if you get caught or something. Oh like where'd you get that at? <laughs> oh man I mean at least I mean at least when we at least when we snuck out at a class sometimes, at least we'd think of something like, I don't know, we'd say, uh, Gein had to, you know, there's a full, there's a full moon out tonight and Gein's starting to feel it a little early so I took him to the nurse. And then you, you started to act like you had symptoms. <sighs> It's not gonna work. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna end up like episode one. I guess we're gonna do. I guess um, the other part will be a part of episode two. Yeah, my other storyline. So I'm cool with that. Enough jabbering amongst yourselves. In my in my office, that that day, the principal Dick Doug was even angry when I rolled up his car. And the worst part, it was Dongo's fault. I'm troll again, and I don't care about being popular, but I like being. I like the excuse to be to spend time with her. But would you only really be nice or pretending to help me? She can't be. She, I'll be charmed by her cuteness and do whatever she wants. Hmm. You know, Bugsy, this doesn't really fit me. This fits you. Shut up, Gene. Because, uh, who would use their cuteness and charms to make you do whatever she said? If you say... If you say her name, Gene. Once. I'm gonna neuter you. Okay, dude, do it, do it, do it. You don't have to do that. Granted, maybe I shouldn't have so many. Maybe having having the kids I have is enough. But I don't want to be neutered, man. Don't go on Bob Barker on me. I'm not gonna go on Bob Barker on you. Hate that guy. Need snip on. I ain't letting him snip off your biscuits and sausage. I wouldn't have him snip off your biscuits and snossage either, Bugsy. 
Why are we using the word biscuits and sausage? I have no idea. But doesn't sausage sound appetizing? If it wasn't a dog, if it wasn't a dog thing. Seems like all you riffraff decided to do. Why are you calling everybody else riffraff? If, if freaking, if freaking, if freaking one person sneaks out, you calling everybody freaking? You calling everybody riffraff? They don't want to stay. I think Miyaki's uh, thing will be the same, so I'm just gonna go and do Donko's. <laughs> if I say anything, if I say anything, Dongo's gonna snap, and I don't want her to. Do, I don't want to do that until I figure out how I feel about her. I thought, I thought you didn't want to be judged on your cuteness and popularity. short anyway, but hey, we get to do my storyline next, and really, after this is where Pac-Man probably gets kidnapped.
good to get this time. I can. I I I can like feel totally real. Thank you, Dean Mon Monoyoka. You, you you just you mispronounced my name on purpose. Yes. <laughs> I thought it'd be kind of funny. Concerts were in your way of getting it you on. Know, hey, no one's gonna, no one's gonna see you breaking up the crowd, Bugsy. Remember that. They do. Do sometimes. When you're in a Guara concert, none of that matters. And you know, and you know as well as I do, I was a fan of Guara. You know, people wonder how old we actually are because we reference old, old stuff. <laughs> mm, I think that's best left up to their imagination how old we are. <laughs> Be true to yourself. So that was what Pac Man said, yep. I said, be true to yourself. Okay, then why would I do the first? Why would I do the first episode? You said, don't be true to yourself. Because that situation was weird. She's talking about love and hate relationships, Bugsy. I'm just thinking this. You know, it's like I don't know what. To, you know, it's like I don't know what to say. I don't know how you knew what I was thinking about. I have my ways. Right. Anyways. I don't, I don't know what you, I really don't know what you mean. How am I not being true to myself? You know what's in your heart, how you feel about Donko. I, and I think, you, we're going to have the time over the phone, aren't we? Yes, I no, 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 God dang, Bugsy, go, go ahead. Go ahead, you're doing the pac -Man thing. Well, I think, I think, and I think deep down, Don't Go feels the same. Feels the same. You know, this was actually the same conversation I had with you about the whole Ruby thing. Yeah. But mostly it's about you it's about me it's about me punching you and telling you not to freaking screw around with some of the chicks and just freaking go with go with freaking uh Ruby because I was like, Do you wanna be like Skune? I mean, that dude has all the chick running around his finger and you know, he ain't choosing, so you gotta choose freaking you gotta choose freaking Ruby, man. Like um, I was like, What are you? And I s you said, I'm a wolf. I was like, What are you? I can't say it on a wolf and I shouted it even louder. It was beautiful. Yeah, it's kinda like kind of a movie. It's my fault I'm doubting how I feel it it's hers. Straight it's hers. She straight up admit admit admitted how manipulative she is manipulative she is. I try to comfort her, but she pretends not to get it. It's so annoying. Please remember that growing up as a young drum can be very difficult, Guinea. I was young once, and and I may not be a drum, but I am, but I am vaguely sh circle shaped. So. It's basically the same thing. Okay, but I, just for a record, I never said I was vaguely circle shaped for me and Gene were having this conversation. Don't go me. How easy life, but don't you think But don't you think that's that that's completely true? I don't I don't know. Sounds pretty easy to me. Everyone likes her. She gets her. She 
gives her whatever she wants. You're being awfully hard on her. Be true, know what you feel, Gideon. Gideon. Yeah, but even back then, I called you Gideon. Yeah. Hey, you know, I don't really like being called Gideon. It's only like an informal. It's like only when people are being formal. And back when I still had a pack, some of us were very formal. He, he's a famous drummer. See, Kadunko is, you know, it's one of those drum puns. Ah, oh, dude, dude, dude. Pigman freaking made a sexual innuendo joke. Pretty funny, Bugs. Well, apparently, we said beat my drum, lo beat this drum long and hard. I hope it's a date anyway. The time comes to head to the cafe. I'm ready to meet me is Dongo. Dressed up to look good. No, 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 other me. If you gotta be like me, you gotta say, I don't need to get, I don't need to get dressed up to look sexy. That's where I came, you stupid. Come on, man, that used to be my whole thing. Don't let, 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 let me at least have it again. I don't bust those out uh, very often. She knows I'm playing, maybe she does understand after all. As far as I can tell. <laughs> we had a great time at the concert together. Dunko loves music and loves to dance. I'm fun dancing with her even though I'm terrible at it. Oh, come on, if you're gonna be me, at least know how to dance. Jesus. Wait, Jesus, Bugsy, at least I knew how to tango. Well, because I actually taught you. With a dummy, no less. You think I'm gonna teach you how to tango by dancing? <laughs> we can figure out what exactly we're doing here. Aw, oh, man, I wanted to see Oh, it looks like the man is having an encore. I'd have been like, I'd have been like, I just wanted to say. I hate when you're, I hear my eyes have to drop down low. Because that's how I do it. That's my seductive voice, folks. See how you, how you like it? It's stupid. Um, a lot of girls liked it. Yeah, but then you gotta do the see, but then you like to be fake when you checking out new chicks. Younger freshman chicks, remember? Remember how you used to act? Hi, I'm DA. Here you go, ladies. Flowers for the Here you go, flowers for the Flowers flowers for you, beautiful. Oh Bugsy, you get it wrong. And it's it's fl it's flowers. It's, it goes like this. Flowers for you, beautiful. Because you're the only one I care about right now. Oh. See, that's how you do it, man. That's how you do it. Still. <laughs> Dude. We, you just got C-blocked by Dunkel's friend. Ah, oh, man, I hate it. I hate getting C blocked. Dude! Every dude hates getting C blocked. It's just what happens. You 
don't go, you cuz. How rad is this concert? I'm so pumped. Music rules. Another interruption, can't you see we're having a private bugly? Am I, am I in a harem anime? <laughs> oh, that was... Sorry, Kate, but that was funny and that was extremely meta. And I'll admit that. Ed Purge and Kate like revenge with per first party with the fun. I should just put game, shouldn't I? Shouldn't I? I'm trying to think you had a motive for, for inviting me here. Actually, I wah. Now I know how Scoone felt when he was trying to get with the other Mocha. Yep, exactly that. Hey. Remember the I Love Mocha fan club? Oh, those two. Oh, those three idiots. Yeah, I remember that. They were always trying. They were always trying to get with Ruby and freaking Mocha, and I freaking got. Me and you got heated and beat the living crap out of the blob monster. The dude with the stretchy neck and the guy that looked like an umbrella. <laughs> they, they, they always tried to fight us too. You like. You know, I was like, one, remember that one time, I was like, you know what, Dean, take them out. I, I don't even feel like it today. You, you go ahead. And you're like, and I was like, oh, why do I gotta take them out? They're freaking dumb. They won't stop. They won't stop. And I was like, eh. and you guys just beat up yourselves today. They don't even feel like it. And they were like, no, you, you, you scorned us with the wound we love. I'm like, you guys don't, I mean, you guys, we were like, you guys are technically fanboys. You don't, you don't say you love a girl, you admire them from afar and don't do anything about it. And yet, you say that, yet, yet we love the chicks we're with and we're, we're totally open to say whatever, say how we actually feel about them because that's what we are. We're not creepy fanboy stalkers. And then they started stalking Skune and the other Mocha and all, and all the, and you know, all them. I was like, <laughs> real relieved. But then they started going after Mocha and then Bugsy, you just beat the ever-loving god out of them, Bugsy. <laughs> I had never seen you beat up a person as much as you beat up them that one day. Like, I would seen you snap. Yeah, and I've seen you snap. Yeah, that you have, that you have. Well, 
Jane, it is true that you do have a tendency to put your foot in your own mouth. Both, but I mean that figuratively. Not like that one time where we actually dared you to actually put your foot in your mouth and you did. You would remember that, wouldn't you? Yes, I would. Come on, I wait a minute. You still talking about the after party? You were, or huh? I can't believe it. You're still trying to get me to do what you want. Well, turn out the waterworks because I I'll fall in line and I'll fall in line like your personal marching band. I thought you I thought you cared about me. I'm not even gonna say that part. Yeah, right. I'm leaving. Yeah, I'm not even gonna say her part. Oh, come on, Lindsay, no. You got enough weird fanfic about the two of us as it is. I'm, I'm not doing this. I'm gonna walk away. <laughs> I'm gonna walk away. Come on, Lindsay. I'm acting. I'm really good at the two of us. Well, and you gonna think of me as some loser you're gonna have pee on? Then I guess that's it. Good night, Dongo. I didn't hear her, I didn't even want to hear her fly. I walked away so fast. I didn't know if you could turn your back on a crying drum, but believe me, it's a lot harder than it sounds. So cool, we get to freaking. Oh, I didn't know you. And I didn't know you can really act, Gain. Better than you. What was that? Well, I'm just saying, Bugsy. I mean, when it comes to voice acting, you're good. But, bro, I can make a freaking. I can, I can do a freaking dramatic scene way better than you can, and I can actually cry. Students! Uh, dire news. Pac-Man is... Yeah, let's skip this. We already know. Don't go! <laughs> I'm so sorry. For being such a crap. For being such a crap about the whole fucking thing. The truth is... I'm not even going to say it. No, you didn't know my reputation I treat you like some regular person. You know, this is just me. I'd probably just kill her. I like how it sounds like freaking 8 bit chaos. Like, really, it sounds like freaking 8 bit games breaking up at the seams. Okay. Remember, these are all gonna, these are all gonna have the same. These are all gonna have like the same kind of theme. <laughs> this drum sticking to them. <laughs> That's something you'd say. It's a lame pun. You do it. That's what's most important. You earned your popularity, Donga. 
because everyone can see how ca kind, caring, and smart you are. It's not because of your cute face. <laughs> that <laughs> that's something I'd do, but it'd be more let's just say the kiss would be more deep. But hey, eh, it's whatever. I'm not a I'm not a nitpicky person like somebody. What? It's not like I built my channel on nitpicking, man. Yeah, but mock off you're pretty nitpicky. Well, that's kind of true, but, you know, it kind of makes sense. Ah, oh, she gets everybody! Evil Namco, which is comprised of robots! And skip, skip, scallywags! <laughs> what the? What the crap are you saying? I don't know. <laughs> uh, oh. Hey, kid, I can say this now. You kissed a drum and you liked it. Bugsy, if you sing, if you sing the resident, I'm gonna just sing. I'm just gonna sing it, man. I'm gonna sing it tomorrow. <laughs> I was thinking tomorrow when we actually, when we actually up a little bit early, earlier. Gala guys, please. Everyone's giving me all the credit, but it's totally unfair. Eh, I don't mind. I'm not as popular as you, but they didn't notice me as much. But I don't really care. Care about being pop. The only person I care about being popular with is you. I don't care. I don't care about. I don't care about popularity or fashion, or even music. I just like listening what's on the radio. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude, I know this isn't a reference to us actually having a radio show, but it's Mad Dog. It, it's Mad Dog in the sand in the morning. <laughs> Hey, we're coming live at you, UK Academy, all up in the, t all up in the tower, all up in the legendary Yokai Radio Tower. <laughs> oh man, I missed that. Yeah, it'd be cool if we could just use our radio personas for a little while. I think maybe we can. I'm not following you. Well. I don't know, I was thinking. Could we, um. Could we skip the, um. Oh, yeah, yeah, we can. So that ends the game saga of things, but the Bugsy alternate storyline is just beginning. And guess what I'm gonna get? Guess who's? Guess which chick I'm gonna check out next? So people, we're done here, and uh, I'm gonna skip the credit sequence. Yo, know, actually, I'm gonna go. We're gonna start the other half. I think tomorrow. Because I don't know how long this episode really went, but, uh, because, you know, we really need to get a timer. Like, I'm not talking like one of those ding 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 bring timers. I mean, like, we need, like, a timer, like, we set, like, a time and just go with it. Yeah, I think that'd be cool. Oh. Bugsy, before we... Before we... Uh, before we end this episode completely... Um, you seen freaking the uh, panel of the Game Grunts at MAGFest? 
I wish we were actually there. I mean, who wouldn't want to come? Who wouldn't want to answer a question for saying Lord and the Werewolf? I mean, that's something that it would never happen. Yeah, that's that's the thing about living in. That's the thing about living where we live. We don't have any big old freaking cons near us, and that sucks. I mean, we could go to. I mean, we can always drive to. We can always drive to L.A. if the cons closer to there. But no, no one ever wants to do a freaking con here and when they do it's like man that's something we want to go to we can always I mean if they ever have a con in LA you thinking of going less if you're driving man because I don't have a driver's license what was that? I thought you did yeah I do but you know I don't really use it so it's sort of it's sort of expired. It's sort of expired because I haven't been driving in a while and I didn't want to go back to the DMV to renew it. <sighs> the DMV is an awful place. You know I had to get my you know I had to get my uh state license there. Oh man, I was there for like eight hours, man. It was a long long line and you know there's some um times in the DMV where people are there for like an entire day why is the DMV like that Bugsy why who knows I just think the DMV is a freaking evil place but I think my license will have to be renewed uh probably next year so, I'll probably be going back next year. Yay! Probably not, but if I do, boo! I freaking hate the DMV. I mean, guys, honestly, old Bugsy hates the DMV. You have no idea. <laughs> wait, you had to wait in a long line. You had to deal with... You had to deal with people, you know... Let's just say, you know, you have to, you know, my penmanship isn't that great, people. And, you know, I prefer typing over, over actually writing something any day. So, you know, I'll tell you this. I had to write my name in, like, uh, for, you know, to get my license, right? I had to write my name. And, and I had to use this freaking digital thing with a little digital pen. And, uh, you know, people were, all, like, getting antsy behind me because I was writing my name. It was taking forever because, you know, my penmanship sucks. And it really didn't make it any easier that I had to deal with this digital pen on this digital surface. And I'm, like, trying to write my name. And people were like, getting all antsy. I'm, like, you know what I really wanted to say to those people? I wanted to flip them off really bad. Uh, but I'm getting off topic here. Just the DMV is evil people, and if you have to go there for like a car or your license, your license and registration, you know, just know that it's a freaking evil place. And if you had to go there, have some, you know, bring it, bring your D, bring a DS or a book or something because you're gonna be there for a while, depending if the line's short enough. I mean, the line was short enough for me, but I'm, I was looking at the people that were there for like days. God dang. That's, that, that's how evil the DMV is. Um, but, you know, that's how it is. Well, see you guys later. Bye, folks. I hope you like the... I hope you like the Gein makes sweet, sweet drum love. Oh, wait a minute. No, wait a minute. Gain makes green with, with the drum singer. Let's rip music together. Let's make sweet harmony. Oh. <laughs> Bugsy, you're really gonna quote All Dogs Go to Heaven? Not even the not even the best song in it. I like Let's Make Music Together. I mean it was weird and somewhat sexual, but it was kinda cool. Uh, Bugsy, I thought you like you can't keep a good dog down. I mean, I think you made a parody of that and said you can't keep a good saying down. <laughs> yeah, <sighs> you know I need to sing that sometime, probably tomorrow or 
tonight, depending if I have enough time. Alright. Well, see you guys later. Hey, you guys thought that freaking Bugsy and Zach were just going to do videos together? No, me and Bugsy still do videos together. It's just, I'm the one that's busy as, busy as all crap. Bugsy can set anything aside, wh whatever he's doing sometimes, if he's not that busy. But, uh, me, I'm usually busy 24-7, so that's why sometimes you don't see me in videos that often. Well, I digress. See you guys later. This is Gein. This is the ever preferred Gein. And this is Bugsy saying Gein made sweet, sweet, sweet love to that drum. It was a it was a sweet, sweet thing. You know, he put his he put his uh he put his wolf BBs in the drum's mouth. That's what they don't tell you. Yeah well actually Bugsy. Ew, you'd actually do it. Yeah, you know I'd bang anything. I don't even know why we're having this conversation right now. See you guys later. Bye, folks, for real.